la 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 <clears throat> sunshine lollipops and retards everywhere and fundies and denatalists and doomsday prophets sorry i didn't realize you were recording already um okay i think it's a good time now to explain a simple logical concept but one with pretty drastic implications and it's the concept of vacuous truth because when you look at silly ideologies and things on which cults are based often at the root of what they are claiming is something called a vacuous truth and the insidious nature of this vacuous truth is that in actual fact what they are saying can be true However, it is a pointless truth. That's why it's called a vacuous truth. It bears no relation to anything in reality. It doesn't matter that this is true. You cannot do anything with this truth. However, the ideologist blithely forgets about this and builds their whole ideology on top of this. And that a lot of these people do not understand the concept of vacuous truth can be seen when they get annoyed with somebody arguing against their position or take you know taking their premises or bold assertions into question and for example i have had people turn around to me and say like oh i guess you believe that all leprechauns shit green rainbows or green laser beams that was the one yes they do it's an undeniable truth all leprechauns do shit green laser beams but considering the way I introduced this video it is clear that this is a vacuous truth now the reason why so many people don't understand vacuous truths is that they are counterintuitive they fly in the face of what seems commonsensical but they are nonetheless truth and the best way to understand it is to dig a little bit deeper. Now, in simple logic, in binary logic, Boolean logic, there are mutually exclusive principles such as A not. You can't, for example, have a statement S and at the same time the negation of that statement not S. The two cannot be simultaneously true now when you look at this in the context of individual statements this is pretty straightforward for example if i say my head is triangular then you can see that that's not true and therefore the statement my head is not triangular must be true simples right it goes wrong when you start dealing in universals and a lot of people trip up over this because they go, well, all people in Britain are eight foot tall. That's wrong. And they conclude, therefore, that all people in Britain are not eight foot tall. And that is an incorrect assumption. What is, what would be a correct assumption from a universal is that if the universal isn't true, there should be at least one exception. And now we can see why a vacuous truth is what it is, is a vacuous truth. Let's go back to that original statement. All unicorns, not all, all leprechauns, shit green laser beams. Sounds absurd, doesn't it? But remember, it's a universal statement. All leprechauns, shit green laser beams. In order to prove this statement wrong, we must produce at least one exception. And therein lies the rub. You cannot produce one exception to this rule because the set of unicorns, sorry, we keep saying unicorns, leprechauns, is empty. There are no such thing as leprechauns. By the way, if you believe that there are leprechauns, good day to you and um, yeah, bye bye. Anyway, so 
there are no such thing as leprechauns, so you cannot find this exception to the universal statement. You will never find a leprechaun that doesn't shit green laser beams. And therefore the universal is true. But of course it's a vacuous tru truth. It's the statement, a universal statement, on elements of the empty set is always by definition true. But there's nothing you can do with that truth. The same is true for antinatalism. That there is no suffering in a universe without sentience is true. But it's a vacuous truth. It's something that is completely useless and pointless to realize. And not something worth aiming for. Because in a universe without sentience, there is nothing to which the absence of suffering could possibly matter. That is not a reason why antinatalism fails. You see, logic, logic is a bitch.